doesn't love the theater? Now, I may be a little bit biased. I loved going with my mom to watch shows. I loved being in theater, on stage, off stage. But you know what? Those at Actors Playhouse are taking it one step further to introduce kids to theater. So joining me is Earl Malding, the Director of Theater for Young Audiences, to tell us more. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a, I really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. So, you know, Actors Playhouse in Coral Gables, it, it has just been a mainstay in the area. I remember growing up and going to see shows and oh, I, I'm so happy to be here talking with you so about sweet. it. So let's just talk about, for folks who don't know, who you guys really are about. Okay, well, I'm Earl and I've had the opportunity to be with the theater for 35 years wow. uh, since the beginning and uh, we, we've always made an effort and it was always, you know, a mission for us to reach out into the community and find ways to excite young people Okay, about theater, whether that's watching theater, being involved in theater, because that's the future of our business and what we do. Plus, it builds such confidence mm -hmm. in them and build, and they, they discover parts of themselves maybe they never even knew. And we've got a group that's uh, been uh, under my direction for 30 years now, and we're celebrating our Pearl anniversary, <laughs> okay, with a production of Little Mermaid. Beautiful okay. and fitting. <laughs> Absolutely. On March 16th and 17th at the Miracle Theater in downtown Coral Gables. And this group um, was originally constructed to give young people an opportunity to step on the professional stage at a little higher level. Okay, we also have conservatory classes beginning at age five. We have some adult classes, so perhaps you might like to step back on well, the stage. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> step back on the stage. But this 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 celebration of the Little Mermaid is 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 unique because we're starting a new program where we're going to be developing a scholarship program, mm. and uh, some of the ticket prices for the the scholarship support seats will go to that program to try to find some young people perhaps in need that wouldn't have the opportunity, you know, to join a program like ours at the Miracle Theater. Absolutely, and what a beautiful scholarship to just introduce folks who probably wouldn't really have that as an option there. Uh, and just open up their world to something really beautiful. So let's kind of talk about that. I mean, you've been there for 35 years. You've yeah. seen kids go from little to grow up, maybe even have kids at this point. Yes. How has that been like for you just to be part of their development and, and see them kind of get out of their shell and be someone that they never thought? I get, as you say that, I get chills oh. because it is, it is beautiful, you know, because I, I, I don't think I ever did this to make a lot of money. And I begin to understand that the, the development and the belief, if you believe in them and you can convince them to continue to learn and grow and believe in themselves, the, the, the sky is, is the limit, okay? They would just keep growing and growing. Let's talk about The Little Mermaid. So how okay. long have these kids been working in this production for? We started rehearsals. We did auditions in November. Okay. They got their cast and they got their scripts and music. So over the holidays, they could start working on their parts. And then we started rehearsals in January. And we basically rehearsed Saturdays and or Sundays, depending on the schedule. So we've been going at it by the time the show opens for about three months, but basically only weekends. So they've had to go home learn their lines, learn their music, work on their choreography, and bring back that amazing energy and their character that they've developed. So for <laughs> folks who want to get more information on the play, so, so when is The Little Mermaid going to So be? it's March 16th and 17th. We have a 2 and a 7 on the 16th and a 4 p.m. on Sunday the 17th. And again, we want everyone to, to please come and buy those scholarship tickets to help someone in need that might not have the opportunity to enjoy professional theater at, at that level and learn and grow. Mm, that's so amazing. Mm -hmm. So for folks who want to learn more, where can they find you guys? Actorsplayhouse.org. Thank you so much, Earl, for being here and everything you do for the community. Mm -hmm.